feel like when God taps you out, uh, you ain't got to ask nobody. Listen, God didn't snatch your kid from her right. father. She surely would not have had you get married and then have you break it up. The absurdness of the talking about this as if you are an expert. You did this, you goofy bitch. Not it's being like, accountable. God is another person to blame. Ah, it was my friend Lisa. My mom talked me into it. God did all this. Uh, you know, everyone but me. I'm not an alpha male. I'm not a beta male either. I'm just a better man. Better man. Better man. Poor Tyrese, who is going through Tyrese. a real bad situation here um, he and his wife uh went through are going through a messy divorce he has a prenup and she's still fighting him on the prenup with lawyers and then she's also talking about how you know it wasn't about the money it's not a money grab it's not this and that and he's and she keeps bringing up stuff and she did a like a one hour podcast here or two hours talking about mm. the divorce and talking about all the things that she regrets about divorce basically giving people advice through the divorce she basically boils it down to um, don't have people talking in your ear who are trying to talk you into the divorce. I wish I had people in my ear who weren't talking to the divorce. And the reality is the people you put in your ear are the ones you let into your life. So you're still responsible. You're still responsible. So let's take a look at some of that. I'm just like, fight as long as you possibly can. Yeah. Fight for it. I mean, when I feel like when God taps you out, uh, you ain't got to ask nobody. Whether what? this is the right decision or not. Oh, yeah. Listen, God didn't snatch your kid. He surely didn't fucking, he surely didn't snatch the kid from his, separate that child from his father, from her right. father. She surely would not have had you make an oath, take an oath under God, get married, and then have you break it up. It's right. just the absurdness of the, 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 the gravitas of talking about this as if you are an expert. You did this, you goofy bitch. You goofy bitch. Like, what is wrong with you? It's just that, not it's being like, accountable. God is another person to blame. Ah, it was my friend Lisa. My mom talked me into it. God did all this. Uh, you know, everyone but me. Everyone but me. Ali Sadiq said something to me one time. I was like, you know, I was talking to him about um, how a lot of people who do crime and whatever. And he said, uh, I said, you know, a lot of times people don't have the intellectual acuity to make the to navigate you know, mistakes and then they end up in prison. And I am absolutely, as you look behind me, I am all about the systemic racism and so on and so forth. But the point is, he said something to me that I always take into consideration. He was like, I wish I would have known that, 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 you know, like prisoners on death row. I wish I would have known. I wish. I and then he says, nobody, nobody told you that crime don't pay. Like you never, not even Beretta. Yeah, <laughs> like no, that's, you all, never that's heard. literally all the shows they ever made was Crime Don't Pay. You the don't first have three a years television Batman, movie. all of Batman, all of uh, you didn't have an aunt that said, look, you selling them drugs. Do you know how this turns out? Nobody said you're going to take a fall like no, but you nobody said nothing. Nobody ever told you that this is you. You go down this road. It doesn't end out good. And I, and I had to take I had to take that in, even though I understand that sometimes people People don't have the ability to listen. But you're right. He's right. He's absolutely right. There's always somebody who said that this doesn't pay. If you, how many, this woman never heard, don't listen to your trifling ass single friends. She never heard that. Nobody's, nobody in the history of relationship never said, don't listen to your trifling ass single friends. Pay attention to what is going on for yourself. Make the decisions for yourself. You're such, you're a grown woman who's able to make decisions and it don't have, this is why I'm an atheist. This is why I don't fuck with it because this entity of this superior person who gives a fuck about who puts where you put your dick and who you put your dick in. Somehow this person has the overall understanding of, of if, if you know, God will take, no, he won't. You, you still got to make a decision and people ignore those choices all the time to take responsibility for your shit. But also, Take responsibility as a man. If you're going to be in a relationship, you have to be man enough to protect yourself from her reckless emotions. You have to be man enough to protect her from her reckless emotions. You have to be man enough to protect the relationship from her reckless emotions. Because when she's feeling, if she's an emotional woman and she's not practical, and if you're not holding her accountable for the things that she says and what she does. And that's the same thing with a man. 
if a woman, if a guy is telling you this, this, that, and the other, and the guy is not showing up, has no credibility, doesn't tell the truth, and you just move on, you're going, this behavior is acceptable. Why would you expect anything different? Yeah. You, uh, people treat you the way you allow them to treat you. You, you allow yourself to be treated. If you've always been a runner, and you, you say, runner. oh, I'm about to get married to this dude, you know, and we about right. to do this thing. You need to work on your little running issue. All right. I got to give her that. I'll give her that. Yeah. Yeah. That's She's not, not wrong. That's, all right. Fair enough. That's good advice. She's not wrong. And, and, and marriage. And I say this all the time, just because a woman is a good mother, doesn't make her a great, a, doesn't make her a great wife. All of these is things that can uh, have to be considered. But I, 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 and I mean, people can, people can be, can present themselves in a certain way and then and then represent themselves in a totally different way. They can 100% lie about who they are. They can be deceived. Sometimes they feel like a nut. Sometimes they don't. Like this is a, this is uh you know, they, you got chicks who are like super, like, you know, like we're talking about women dating only fans and this and that. And this chick is selling a pussy or, or turning tricks or whatever, or just like, this is part of who you are. If you got to say, this is unacceptable. I, if this is what you want to do, this is my standard. And I'm not mad at you. I'm not judging you about, I don't have to like it, but I also don't have to deal with you. I can decide that who you are and the way you approach life is not good enough for me. Women do it all the time. Hmm. You don't have enough money. You ain't got enough job. You don't look good enough. You ain't tall enough. You know, whatever. But and I can decide that who you are is not good enough for me. And you can also change that. You can discover things and go, you know what? I'm just, this is not who I am anymore. This is not what I want anymore. And, yeah. you know, that can buy, hey, that's not what we were. Okay, that's fine. But this is how I feel. Because, again, women do that all the time. Men aren't allowed that kind of leeway yeah, because it's not convenient. You know, so you are allowed to change what you feel. You're allowed to go, hey, I'm not comfortable with this anymore. Let's see what else. A marital is. therapist at the time that when I told him my decision, he was like, um, you know, when you get lawyers involved, it gets ugly. Mm. He told me that. And, you know, I didn't even realize. I don't think I even realized how ugly it would get. You know, and she didn't, yeah, it's like, interesting because she didn't she didn't disagree with the fact that it got ugly. She just wasn't it. I mean, you know, it's ugly. How ugly could it be? Let me give it a shot. Let me right. test and see how ugly it gets. But, this, you know, this is because just she also, by the way, as a woman, she's she's not. Tyrese is the one paying for the legal fees because in this country right. when you get divorced, right. So he has to pay for more, hers as well as pay for his. more most of the time. So there's no there's no consequence, you know, and that's kind of the problem. With you got, let me let me make that clear. When you go through a divorce, Mm -hmm. If your wife doesn't have the money and you the guy with the most of the when you're the, the guy who's trying to pay the pay the child support or whether not only do you have to pay your legal fee, but you have to pay you, her legal fee to reset represent her so she could take your shit. Yeah, that's and the, that's, the that's part of it. But that's also the reason she doesn't have to heed a warning from a marriage right. counselor who goes, listen, just so you know, it's going to get ugly. And I don't care. She. This is a professional you hired to do this who has experience, and she goes, oh, I don't know, whatever. Okay, anyway, I didn't realize how ugly. I didn't know you said ugly, ugly. I didn't know you meant it for real. <laughs> for ugly, ugly. <laughs> like I said, I could, if I could walk back in time, you know, sometimes I battle with myself about that, but at that time, I should. thought I was doing the right thing or the best thing, you know? I didn't know. I didn't know how ugly it could get. And I know a lot of women, we make that decision and we're so hurt and angry. And then five, six months later, you're not that angry anymore. Like, oh, this kind of like still care about him. I kind of still have these feelings for him now that I've had time has passed and I'm not in his face every day. But now you have made an irreparable hole. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. your big your big takeaway from your divorce is that decisions have consequences. <laughs> It, it's just absurd. It's and absurd. it only cost Tyrese oh, a million you, dollars. So it was worth it. Yeah. It, but it's when just you like, do stuff and then you really like this dude. Let me say this. I, I'm going to say this. And I've heard Tyrese talk a lot. He's always, he's, if, and 
to be honest, he's yapping. He's too not always much. crying, guys. Every no, once in a while, he's once just while, talking. He's, actually, he's just with, talking without without snot bubbles coming in. So you know, yeah. it's it happens. And he he talks about loving and loving, and he's an R and B motherfucker. So he he's loving and supportive, and he you know his 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 he wants his life to be an R and B song. You know what I mean? Mm. You're having my baby, and it seems so good to me. <laughs> like he really wants a, a a white linen, flowy shirt and pants on a on a beach where he could. But like you gotta you gotta be aware of what's going on and shut your mouth. Stop talking. You got two ears and one mouth. You should be listening as twice as much as you talk. You're saying that in general for Tyrese or men in general? What what advice? And men in general, women in general, shut the fuck up and listen. Think about when you talk. This there's such a a, a level of, of 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 comfort that people have about that people have about just running in, just yapping, just yapping about not even understand what's what's your. I mean, the first thing you should be is what is your objective. What is it? What are you trying to accomplish? And then once you have defined the objective, then you act in ways that uh, that get you to your objective. So, I mean, here's a here's a way to even look at this in an absurd, not in an absurd way, but in an unorthodox way. Like, you get a young guy. He's like, man, I'm young. I really had a lot of sexual experience, man. I want to do threesomes. I wonder. So you you don't you don't date a church girl who wants to be. <laughs> Who wants to get married? You know, if you're an if you're a fifty something year old guy and you've got kids and you don't want no kids, you don't date a twenty three year old who's gonna or a twenty five year old, twenty seven who doesn't have kids who ultimately is gonna have kids. I, like it's we're talking about just basic fundamental common sense that people are not ways for for re- relationships. You know, if, yeah. if you're a woman, you want kids. Don't date a guy who's told you he doesn't want kids. Yeah, don't date a and dude. Say, who's I'm gonna change him. But if you're so arrogant that you think that only thing you're so self self centered and so unaware, and you operate on a level of what well, it doesn't matter what people think, I'm just going to do what I want to do, then you're going to end up in a you're going to end up in a funky place. And and here's the thing: even though it didn't cost her a million dollars, look at this situation. She had a great dude who loved her to death, had a baby with her. She put her baby. She left. She she gave now even if he I mean he's he's got money so he's gonna see his child or whatever but the child doesn't wake up in the household with them I mean I deal with that every day that my son is not here every day because of some goofy goofy decisions that didn't make no sense because of um but you know you also can't you can't stop people from making the decisions they want to make and how does a dude avoid this type of situation. You know, you got to you have to first point out what it is you want, which, uh, to be honest, I did that as well. Like I was absolutely even in my situation, I was absolutely clear that I want us to be together. To, I mean, if this child and us being together is the most important thing. And, you know, if somebody lies or that when person somebody said yes, she, said, she yes said yes, this, to you. this has to be the pro- this has to be the priority. I, I remember saying this has to be a priority. We need to have an we want to have an amazing human being and we want to both be there to contribute to this. But when you what what happens is when you start to see when the red flags pop up, you got to know when to, to bail. I mean, and I, I mean, you know, there was red flags for me, but I, I mean, we were already in the. No, you, you know, did it for the sake of your you had a child and you're trying to yeah. make the best of a situation where you're trying yeah. to uh and she was a good mother, so you were hoping yeah. to create that yeah. or, or, or rekindle it. Here we the, go. The people I had in my ear at the time were not for that. Let me ask you this because I think that's such a good point. Mm-hmm. I don't care. Um <clears throat> <laughs> I don't care about whoever this is. Anyway, but I'm no. quite sure that 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 Tyrese was like, "Yo, this bitch, this bitch ain't got no man. She don't got no man. Why are you talking to somebody? Ain't got no, I'm, I guarantee you that that was spoken to her about that. Yeah. That instead of the dude that she should have been talking to was Tyrese. She was talking to outside people, taking advice from people, and ain't got no man. Don't have successful relationships. Don't know anything." And even just don't even have a, don't even have the ability to to make logical decisions. Hmm. 
But this is what you surround yourself to, and it's you all good because you, you got this, it all figured out. You put this crew of people together, and you're blaming them again. It's not holding your, you know, it's zero accountability. Well, I guess she's taking some accountability that she should have waited longer. But then it's it's almost immediately like, hey, don't have the big lesson is for her is, uh, you know, decisions have consequences, and don't listen to stupid people that you bring into your life. If you have people that, in hindsight, you go. Uh, they, they shouldn't have I took some bad advice from these people then you, they shouldn't have been in your life you chose them to be in your life and what happens is more often than not in this situation you're in a situation where you surround yourself with people who are giving you what you want to hear yeah and it's yeah. not it ain't, it ain't like you go I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna stick it out with them and they went oh no you should divorce him I guarantee you it was a situation oh, yeah. I should divorce him yeah you should fuck girl him. get that if money. you ain't happy you know, he, if he's not going to do what needs to be done to make you happy, yeah, if then you got to move on. To get, happy. get rid of the zero. Get with the hero. You better be fast and furious with that money. <laughs> you better live your life one quarter mile at a time. <laughs> stupid. <laughs> stupid. <laughs> you know, we're always talking about accountability, but there's no, no greater accountability than supporting us on the Patreon at patreon.com. Slash Manschool202 helps us keep doing what we're doing. Yeah, that's right. Patreon.com slash Manschool202. That's where we do all the bonus content for the show. Uh, we talk about a lot of game, a lot of technique, and we also archive all the old episodes starting from episode one. So if you love the show and you want to support the show, come on over and join us at Patreon.com slash Manschool202. And if you can't do that, at the very least, do us a favor, like and subscribe below and tell your friends. And do all, do all of the above. Yeah. Base. Let's go. It gets uglier. It gets ugly. It's almost like you have somebody that's, can you believe what they just said? Like you're, you're, you're like, what? I can't believe that I did all this stuff. How could they want, you know, you just get your, it's. This is why your ego is, it, it's important to constantly work at removing your ego. What your ego wants to do is say, is this mother, motherfucker, you don't know who I am. Don't you know who I am? That's what your ego is constantly. That dude is the hype man who's making trouble because you can't get in the club and the bouncer doesn't know who you are. You don't know who he is? That's what your, your ego is saying. If I knew who you were, I would have asked you. I wouldn't have asked you who you were. The, 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 the audacity for you not to know me and not, not to understand how great I am and stuff. It, when sometimes it might just because I don't know you because I'm living my own life. Am I, but to, when you allow people these, I don't, I, you know, there are so people, so many people that are empty in their own lives and they're not working to be the best version of themselves. And so naturally they, they want to have, they want to have control over what you do. I have a, I have a friend of mine, friend of mine for years, and we, you and I talked about this, friends with him for 20 years, and his wife is awful. She's in everybody's business. She tells everybody what to do. She don't, she don't, she haven't gotten her own life figured out, but she's got, and she's got advice. She's in, and he's willing to put up with her disrespect. She disrespects him all the time, and all of his friends, she disrespects his friends. Because she's in their business, doesn't even know what, and don't even have her own shit together. But what she will do is, what he will do is, because he's accustomed to her being disrespectful, he expects everybody else to put up with his awful wife. Yeah. And you're the only one who goes, um, just calls him out and goes, no. Yeah, I'm, I'm not, not doing, doing this. I'm not, I'm, doing not, I'm not, you, because you're my, if, you're, if your wife don't respect you, how the fuck is she going to respect me? And then she, then she's going to expect me to concede and to roll with your, with, with the same abuse that she gives you because I'm your friend. So why would I, she don't respect you? Why would she think that she should respect me when I respect somebody that she doesn't respect in the first place? We all get a lower value because you won't say, why don't you shut up and mind your business and go to therapy and get your own shit together. Right. And that's and it. it's and not it worth it. Tolerated and society as a whole tolerates awful behavior. And how many times we've been at a comedy club and some lady jumps up and she starts tackling and talking shit. And then you got not as a threat of you getting into a physical confrontation with her dude because he rather fight you. He rather fight you than tell her to shut the fuck up that she's wrong. We when he that knows Will she's Smith wrong. Syndrome. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's funny you say that. I didn't even think of that. 
I mean, because we've had experiences like now you you know what happens be in comedy clubs all the time. It's just never at yeah. the Oscars. It happens right, in comedy right. clubs where a dude gets pissed off that you know his his wife is talking shit and you know interrupting the show, and then you not that Jada was doing that, whatever, but um. You know, then you put her down, then her feelings get hurt. Now he's got to defend her honor because it's better to try to fight you than to sit in a car ride home awkwardly. Yeah. And that's the you thing. Rather. Dudes put up with the argument because they don't want to deal with it. Uh, all right, whatever, whatever. I don't want to deal with it because it's endless and annoying because they don't have the courage to actually leave and just be done with it because they think this is what marriages are. I, I, I um, you know, uh, shout out to everybody that's been ch- tuning in on Tuesday nights at eight thirty. We've been uh, I'm, I've been doing live and doing just doing live consultations on air, so you can see what I do in real life and and how this works, how this pans out in real time. Every Tuesday at eight thirty, we do it on the Man School channel. We also do it on the In Godfrey We Trust channel. Um, but we I do live consultation, and this dude was talking, called up, and he was like. You know, he was first of all, I could tell it was something wrong because he his voice was timid. It was just he didn't want to speak too loud. He wouldn't, you know, well, you know, I just my wife, you know, I mean, you, you know, I just didn't want to make any trouble. I didn't want to. First of all, no woman loves that guy. And if they do love him, they don't respect them. And if they don't respect, if they don't respect you, eventually they're not going to love you. So here's a dude who's in a marriage who where he has no control over what goes on and he's calling me up for advice and i'm saying you don't even think that you're worthy of being treated the way that you want to be treated you don't believe that i can tell it in the tone of your voice so you get into the situation where that that person doesn't respect you they would literally end up in mortal combat with another man rather than have to disappoint his woman or have her jump on him and tell him how he ain't shit and he's worthless and stuff. And what do you think? And when you allow that, what do you think is going to happen? She's basically saying that you ain't shit. What about that would make her want to stay with somebody who she thinks is worthless, who's not a man enough to be with her? It's crazy. It's insane. And it just comes from not standing up for yourself and not feeling that you're worthy of it. Yeah. Because you're worried about losing the relationship, but what you realize is if you're willing to walk away from a bad relationship, you save yourself a lot of time, a lot of effort, and then you can find a good relationship. How are you supposed to be in a good relationship when you're in this awful, awful relationship? That's all. It's an interesting timeline. You looked up the first video, the, the uh, Snot Bubbles and Sniffles uh, tour. He, that was six years ago. That was. Right? Yeah. He's divorced and he's with somebody else. But you're still yapping online. Yeah. Why are you still yapping online? First of all, if he, and he was talking about he he was Tyrese was all, talking about the video that she did where she says you're not supposed to have somebody in your ear. You're not supposed. To, he, what he doesn't understand is that he's already won, right? First of all, anybody who she's not going to be accountable anyway. She's already a man eater. So anybody she she like this is not going to stop. The next dude that deals with her is not she. He's not going to get somebody. What you're going to think that what she's saying makes her a bet. Oh, she learned her lesson. Nope, no, no, nope, she's just going to nope. ruin that person's life. Yeah. She's just going to ruin that person's life and go, wow, I, I knew it was all Tyrese. There's just no accountability. She'll change mm-hmm. whatever story, whatever narrative it is that she has to change to make her feel good about herself. That's what toxic people do. Well, let's get more of her nonsense. And some of the stuff that she's saying is reasonable. Some of the stuff that she's saying. Some of is, it is it's yeah. reasonable, but it's all stuff that should after take the fact. You, yeah, yeah, it shouldn't. It's also after the fact. It's all stuff that shouldn't take you. You shouldn't have this epiphany after you've destroyed yeah. your family. I'm not an alpha male. I'm not a beta male either. I'm just a better male. Better male. Well, put your happiness first, because if you don't, they won't.